Greetings from a school of engineering studies, Uttar Pradesh Ashwin and Oakland University. Friends, today we are going to take a very important topic on business statistics, that is regression. It is one of the most important statistical tool which is highly been used by the business professional for doing the forecasting. As you all saw us over here, M.M. Blair has said that regression analysis is a mathematical measure of the average relationship between two or more variables in terms of original unit of data. He said that regression analysis is a mathematical measure means here we are going to deal with the mathematic that is algebraic expression of the average relationship means we are taking the mean value of the series which we are going to take between two or more variables. Two or more variables means that there must be a x series, there must be a y series or more than two series variables in terms of the original unit of data. Original unit means here whatever data we are going to take is in the original term. Now we look back into the history of regression that from where the regression has been started. It was in the year 1877, Sir Francis Glatton, a biometrician has first coined this term. He has done his research work on the heredity of the father and the son. And he came to know that on the basis of his work, he said that the average height of the tall father is and the tall son is almost the same and the average height of the draft father and the draft son is almost the same. But it goes towards the mean, means if the father height is draft is short, the height of the son is also short, but it is going towards the mean and the father height is tall, the son will also be tall, but the mean the value is going to be the mean and the universe that is the height of a specific area should be a common that is the mean of the thing. So this is what, this is how Sir Francis Glatton has explained that the regression concept. Regression means stepping back, looking back. So here what we used to do is this, that we used to forecast the value on the basis of the past data. And as we are dealing with business statistics, so as a statistician, as a business professional, people have to take the decisions and these decisions are based on the data. If your data has been there and you have to predict the future, so by the help of this regression analysis, we can definitely, precisely get the exact value. Now what is the uses of the regression? Uses of regression. First is demographic. In demographic study, we used to see that how many people are going to take the birth, how many are going to die, what is the pattern of transfer, what is the pattern, pattern of people leaving one city to another. All these things can be properly analyzed by the help of regression. Second is business decisions. In business decision, what we used to do is this, that what type of forecasting is being needed, what are the future profits in the future, what are the sales, how much production is being required, where we have to set a new unit, what are the potential employees or customers on which a company is going to target. By the help of regression analysis, proper decision making process can be done. And the third and the last one is social reform. As you all know that presently we are focusing on the social reforms. So social reforms is another factor by which regression is very helpful in take the accurate decisions. So here, for example, the tax, the taxing system of the India, the country, 
whether the tax is going to increase, whether the tax is going to decrease, how much tax is going to be levied so that the social class, social masses is not been going to be affected properly is classic structure. Then what are the poverty rate, how we can take up the poverty rate, how we can do the welfare of the society. So, all this factor, inhumanization of the process, everything can be properly analyzed by the help of regression analysis. The another topic which we are going to take is the kinds of regression. As in the definition you have saw that the regression depends upon the two or more than two variables, one, two that is x series and y series. Now, kinds of regression, the first one is linear or curvy linear. We see if we take this is y series, this is x series. So, there are different dots, different points which we take into consideration and we make a line over here. That is, if this line is in a straight line, we say that our regression is a linear. That is, it is in a one line, but if we take, make this line and take like this then we say that our regression is a curvilinear position. We have got simple regression or multiple regression. Simple regression when we have got two variables that is one x series and the other is y series we said that our regression is simple regression and if we have got one x series and y series and z series where x and y are independent and z is dependent. So, we can say it is a multiple regression. As you all know that regression method is taken in the form of algebraic terms. So, there must be two lines that one line is x and one line is y. So, there are two series x series and y series and the both series makes a constitute a line. So, here we can say that regression relationship with correlation. So, there are seven cases, if we take this topic and we say that there are seven except seven basic topics which we take to into the consideration, seven factors. The first one is this that you have got two lines if this is y series and this is x series and we say that line x is overlapping the line y means both line are overlapping one another. We can say it is a perfect correlation, perfect correlation that is positive also perfect positive correlation. If we say the one line is x line is going like this and y line is going like this the angle between them is very less, we can say it is a positive high correlation. In the third case, we can take if the x series is going like this and y series is going like this and the angle between them is very high, we can say that is a positive low correlation. So, three cases are there for positive correlation. First one is this that if the both line are overlapping one another, we can say it is a 
perfect positive correlation. And the second one is this, if the two lines are going upward from bottom to the top, we can say x series and y series having a very less degree, we can say it is a positive high degree correlation. And if we say that x and y series with a great angle between them, we can say it is a positive correlation because they are going from down towards upward. So, we can say it is a positive low correlation. Now, three more cases will be here. This is all the cases of positive. Now, we three take three cases of negative. So, in negative case automatically the line is coming from top to bottom. So, here the x series is overlapping the y series. So, we can say that it is a perfect negative correlation. In the second case, we can say both the lines are coming downwards and the angle between them is very less. We can say that it is a negative high correlation. And in the third case, here phi series and this is x series, the angle between both the series coming down is much, we can say it is a negative low correlation. So, there are six cases which you will find over here three cases of positive correlation and three cases of a negative correlation. Now, there will be a seventh case which is also being considered. The seventh case is this that if the x series and the y series meets at a point which is 90 degree to each other. Here you can see it is a 90 degree means there is no correlation. Here there is no correlation. The series x has no impact on series y, we can say it is a no correlation. Therefore, correlation is equal to 0. Here the correlation is perfect is equal to 1. Here the correlation is negative that is 1. So, these are the 7 cases which we have to take for the regression analysis. I hope you can understand by this. Now, we are moving towards the practical implementation of the regression, how one can solve the problems of the regression. So, there are two regression lines. Regression lines x on y, y on x. Now, these regression lines are in the algebraic form. So, the formula of finding x on y is this, we have got x minus x bar is equal to coefficient of correlation standard deviation of x upon its standard deviation of y, y minus y bar. This is the formula of finding the regression of x on y series and for y on y series, we are going to get the formula y minus y bar is equal to coefficient of correlation, the standard deviation of y, the standard deviation of x, x minus x bar. So, you see there are two lines, regression line x on y and regression line y on x. For solving any question, you require these two formulas. So, here the point which is to be taken into consideration is this, that whatever is the independent variable, we used to take it over here. In, in the two series, x is independent on y, we used to take x on y series and in this if and if the y is independent on x, y is the independent case, y x is the dependent case, we used to apply the series y on x. Here, if we take into consideration 
x bar stands for the mean value. of series x y bar stand for mean value of series y stand for co coefficient of correlation stand for standard deviation of x series standard deviation of phi series you know now by the formula we can say that if we are going to take the formula of x on y series we say that x x will be the term which we are going to find x bar is the mean value of that x series whatever is being given we take out the mean and we will put over here that is this is the coefficient of correlation whatever is given in the formula we are going to apply over here the standard deviation of the x series we take out the standard deviation of the x series and we apply over here the standard deviation of y series whatever the standard deviation of the y series we are going to apply over here then y again this is what the value we have going to find and this will be the y bar again it is the mean value of the y series. So, this is x on y same thing will be happening if is it it is on y on x as I have mentioned it before. Now, we will take an example by which you can understand that how we are going to apply the regression questions. So, we will take a question take suppose you have got the height and weight of 100 boys who are studying in a college. We can say we will take the height and weight of the of 100 boys who are studying in a college. The mean Suppose if you take the height as x and weight as y question. So, the mean value of their height is 60, put it is meant it is 60 inches, and the mean value of their weight put it x, put it y, mean value of their weight is 100 pounds the standard deviation of their height is 3 inches and the standard deviation of their weight is 20 pounds. coefficient of correlation is 0 0.06 make it 0 0.6 so here the question is asking that you have to find the regression of 100 boys who are studying in a college with the average height of 60 inches and a weight of 100 pounds and the standard deviation of x means the standard deviation of their height is 3 inches and the standard deviation of their weight is 20 pounds the coefficient of correlation is given as 0.6. So, first of all we are going to apply this the data which is being given in the definition we have said that it is a unit set of data original data we are going to take and we are going to put this data on the specific formula. The formula as you all know x minus x bar is equal to coefficient of correlation. standard deviation of x, standard deviation of y, then y minus phi bar. So, here putting the value x minus x bar 60 inches 
is equal to coefficient of correlation is 0 0.6, standard deviation of x is given over here 3 inches, a standard deviation of y is given over here 20, then we have say that y minus y bar mean value of y is equal to 100. Like this, we are going to have the regression line on x on y. Same way, we are going to make another regression line y on x that is y minus y bar coefficient of correlation is x minus x bar. Okay. So, this is must be considered here looking at the formula whatever is coming first it should be put over here standard deviation of y upon standard deviation of x. So, taking the value y minus y bar is 100 coefficient of correlation 0 0.6 standard deviation of y 20 points standard deviation of x 3 x minus that is 60. This is what the formula is all about. Now, solving this into the various terms, we have got x minus 60, y minus 100, taking 60 from here to there. So, it will be 0 0.09. y minus 100, it is minus 60, it will come over this side, it will be plus 60. Solving more, we will get 0 0.09 y minus, we will multiply this by 100, we will get a value 9 over here, plus 60, x is equal to 0 0.09 y plus 51. This is how you are going to get the value. Now, solving this, we will get y minus 100, x minus 60, y is equal to 4, x minus 60, taking 100 from this side to this side, it will be 100, y is equal to 4 into x, 4 x minus 4 into 60. 240 plus 100, y is equal to 4 x and this will be taking out minus 140. This will be the two regression lines which you are going to get. If the question used to ask that what will be the height, if the height, what will be the height of a boy whose weight is 200 pounds? And the question says that what is the weight of a boy if the height is 15 inches. So, here you are going to get the two regression indices x on y and y on x. If we assume that this is y and we assume this is x and putting the value over here, putting the value of x over here and putting the value of y over here, we can take out the sum. x is equal to 0 0.09 y plus 51 x is equal to 0 0.09. In place of y, you are going to put 200, either 200 given over there, plus 51, x is equal to 15 plus 51 is equal to 69. Same way, y is equal to 4 x minus 140 y is equal to 4 into the height is given over the 50 inches minus 140, y is equal to 200 minus 140, that is y is equal to 60. Process how we are going to solve the regression analysis. So, here the question says that if you have been given the height and weight of the students 100 boys who are studying in a college 
and you have to find that what is the height of a student whose weight is 200 pounds and what is the weight of a student whose height is 50 inches. So, we have got the two values over here, we have taken x on y series, we have put the value over here, we solved it and after solving this we have get the answer that the height and weight of the respective student is this. Now, for solving a question we must have to consider that the value which is being independent is taken on the right hand side while the value which is being dependent is taken on the left hand side. So, always remember that if we are taking height of a person as x and the weight of a person is y. So, automatically if the question is asking that what is the weight of a person if height is being asking. So, height is an independent character while the weight is a dependent character. So, automatically if we have to find the weight we have to take it over here in the x series and y series is in the height of a specific person. So, this is all how you are going to solve the regression analysis. Regression is one of the most important statistical tool and it is highly applicable in all the business forecasting method. In UPRTU, we used to take this in both MBA 1.4 and MCOM 02. Thank you.